Hello, so this is a update stroke uh, correction video for uh, the MIDI mapping and importing your own or other people's um, drum loops into Superior Drum 3. Um, I previously said that ToonTrack had added in these wonderful little drum maps, uh, Stephen Slate, uh, Addictive Drums, Native Instruments, all of that stuff. And I said that you had to select it and then drag it from your computer into Superior and then apply that preset to that loop and then it would work. Um, I said, wouldn't it be lovely if you could use this sidebar here and just pick from the menu and have it automatically work? And it, apparently it does. Um, so to do that, this is how you would do it. So you come in clean, you have a nice directory on your hard disk of uh, your MIDI files. For example, I managed to get the MIDI files from Abbey Road 60s, 70s, 80s modern. I've got some addictive drum loops. I've got some general MIDI from Guitar Pro. I've got a free Groove Monkeys um, thing. Um, Studio Drummer. I managed to uh, just rip those files out and put them in a nice orderly directory of their own. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to settings, libraries, and in here you will have additional libraries, ToonTrack MIDI, Easy Drama Sound libraries. Uh, mine is on an external SSD and that's the folder you need to find. Um, so if I find that, it's on my SSD, ToonTrack, Easy Drama, and within this folder is a folder called MIDI. And um, this is where you need to put your MIDI files. So if I take the ones I want, like the Abbey Road, Addictive, uh, General, Groove Monkey, uh, that one, and just that one, I think. Is that the one I want? Yeah. So all of these. If I copy, Command C, go into the MIDI directory, paste. It's about 25 meg-ish and I don't know, 10,000 loops or something. Boom, done. Now, if I close that down, if I close superior down and then reload it again, uh, just pick a nicer kit. I go into grooves here you can see on the side panel here um, there is a bunch of directories so this is the Abbey Road directory um, for example um, they will most of them have this orange thing next to it and this means you can add it to the database so if I add the studio drummer ones to the database and go in there I pick a fill. Um, let's try some I don't know, jazz fills. So, mm, when you have all of these added into your database, you can then right click and now you can select the mini mapping for that directory and that will stick so the next time that you open it up it'll be ready for you um, so if i select studio drummer series i think that one's already set to you can see the green dot there saying it's already set to abbey road series um, addictive drums um, general midi Groove Monkey is also General MIDI, which is in Legacy Generic. Um, I actually don't know what that one is. I think that's more than likely going to be General MIDI. Um, so if I
So now these should all be set up to The only um, the only drawback is basically to do with the MIDI, and that will be that these MIDIs that I personally have and I've ripped out of these other programs don't have the uh, tempo within. But a lot of them are in directories which state the tempo, so you can manually. And these now work with tap to find. You can use them with your song creator. And yeah, that's it.